Hello and welcome to another edition of Pirate Parents Live. My name is Carter Fenwick. I'm the Associate Director of Parent and Family Programs here at ECU. Today with me I have Dr. Tran, the Director of Undergraduate Research, and today we are going to be chatting about research opportunities and other creative opportunities for your students. Um, and we are actually in Dr. Tran's laboratory today, which is very exciting, a very new environment for us to be in, um, because in addition to your role as Director of Undergraduate Research, you do research yourself, which is awesome. Um, if you are watching live, please put any of your questions into the comment section on Facebook. Um, we have colleagues who will be monitoring that and can answer your questions there. If you have any questions um, as you watch the recorded version of this, you can still put your questions into the chat, whether it's on Facebook or on our website or on the parent and family portal. You can put your questions there um, because my office will get that notification and we will get you your answers. Um, but let's dive in. So um, Dr. Tran, can you explain what undergraduate research is and what that looks like for a student and how it maybe fits into their schedule? Certainly, yeah. Thank you for having me here, Carter. Nice to meet you. Um, undergraduate research can be in a number of ways. One way it can be done is to go outside the classroom, get into a setting such as a lab here, mm -hmm. and carry out current work that's ongoing underneath the mentorship of a faculty mentor or another student such as a graduate student with some experience underneath their belt already, they'll mentor you the, to the process of carrying out an experiment that they're carrying out right now. It can be on a number of topics on STEM, non-STEM, or even other types of uh, disciplines that are related to what the lab does. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, since we are in your lab, can you talk a little bit about the research that you do and maybe how many students you work with? I currently have five undergraduate students myself. They range from being sophomores on to seniors. Mm -hmm. By the way, they can start at any time with research, even as a freshman. Um, so they come at various levels. They can currently work with me in helping me to understand better some of the problems related with Alzheimer's disease. So I look at an animal model of Alzheimer's disease, looking at brain cells, for example, because mm -hmm. we do neuroscience in the lab, and behavioral dysfunction associated with those mice that show mutations in the genes for Alzheimer's disease. That's fascinating <laughs> and a little over my head. <laughs> um, so with those students that you work with or other students, um, what does their schedule look like? You know, is it a flexible schedule for them to fit in with their classes and such? It is a flexible schedule. Students normally uh, go outside of the classroom, for example, in between class times when they have the opportunity maybe on weekends, mm -hmm. on some weeknights, very flexible. They receive the training once they understand the process. And this is pretty much common throughout many labs here at ECU, that once they understand the process and workflow and have a system down, they can set their schedules. Mm -hmm. So it is very flexible, which is nice, because it does seem very daunting if a student is, um, you know, especially an undergraduate student, like you said, maybe a freshman who was like, I'm really kind of interested in wanting to be in a lab you know, understanding that it is a flexible schedule is very nice when it can be kind of a daunting um, ask and, you know, a want to do that outside of the classroom, which is great. Um, so the program of undergraduate research, um, you do help place those students in those research opportunities, um, but you also help them with those creative kind of activities. So can you elaborate on what that looks like and what majors or minors can be involved? Uh, certainly. The Office of Undergraduate Research, which is a an office underneath the uh, research and economic development and engagement uh, reading. We are tasked with helping students, undergraduates, find research opportunities or internship opportunities or creative opportunities. Um, and the definition of research, by the way, has expanded beyond typical lab room settings. So my task is to help facilitate uh, them in ways in which they can find mentorship. Mm -hmm. um, they also are allowed to experience those types of environments and we can provide some resources to them which we'll probably be able to answer in, uh, in terms of another set of questions but the type of resources we can provide them are uh, monetary as well as steering them to opportunities within ECU as well as outside of ECU. So it's much broader in terms of helping place students in research and creative product, project environments. Mm -hmm. 
So those creative um, opportunities, what maybe have students participated in in the past? You know, if, if I'm a theater arts major, is that something I can take advantage of? Certainly, for example, what comes to mind immediately is a dance performance or maybe a, some type of performance uh, away from ECU, maybe a local uh, venue uh, that uh, can help uh, provide some highlight or elevate uh, the, the, the activity that's carried out in, at ECU, but beyond the classroom, outside of the dance floor, out in the community. So that's the way in which uh, creative activity can be accomplished through dancing and art. Uh, there have been readings in terms of poetry readings, book readings, uh, things of that nature where students uh, have some creative uh, license mm -hmm. to express themselves and their mentors can um, supervise what they do but also help encourage them to go beyond the classroom and uh, fulfill those type of activities. Mm -hmm. And the safety of uh, uh, by, while being in school without just kind of being pushed after graduation out, right. out of the school. So that's really awesome. Um, so you did touch on this a little bit, but um, like you said, you're in charge of kind of pairing students with mentors based on what they're interested in. Um, but also undergraduate research does support students in other ways. So can you elaborate more on that too? Yes. So the support structure is the following. At ECU, the Office of Undergraduate Research provides um, what we call IRCA's Undergraduate Research and Creative Activity Awards, uh, IRCA for short. And these are semi-annual uh, at the fall or spring semester. We solicit applications to undergraduates and their mentors to submit uh, proposals for funding. Students can earn up to $2,000 per funded project. Um, and so the, this is a resource where students can certainly take advantage of mm -hmm. to help assist them through their project, whether it be a research lab or a creative activity uh, that needs to uh, help defray expenses that mm -hmm. are incurred uh, through that project. Mm -hmm. So that's one way. This, the, another way is if students are going to travel towards conferences, um, either in-state or out-of-state, uh, seminars, workshops, and other types of scholarly activities that are discipline-specific uh, with their mentor then we can assist with travel expenses up to $600 per funded travel application. Cost can definitely be a deterrent for a student wanting to participate in something like this. So um, it is important to, to know, especially if your student is interested in doing a research opportunity or, or like uh, we mentioned, a creative opportunity, there is affordable ways of making that work within um, your schedule and your budget, which is amazing. Um, so we talked about budgets. Um, and making it more affordable for students. There's also a really great opportunity where you have the students um, present what they've learned and maybe their research opportunity or their um, creative opportunity um, to show off what they've learned and boost up their resume. So can you talk about what that opportunity is? Yes, indeed. So when students conduct research or a creative project, we'd like for them to have the opportunity to convert what they do in terms of effort now into a professional type of uh, development mm -hmm. and we offer at ECU what's called uh, research and creative activity excuse me research and creative achievement week ARCA and also capture 180 research challenge these are two activities that we sponsor to help promote uh, students abilities to articulate mm -hmm. and communicate what they have accomplished through their research or creative project uh, so this is a forum to allow them to express themselves uh, to an audience of their peers, of faculty, of other experts, mm -hmm. as well as people in the community. Uh, it, these events are open to pretty much everybody uh, that uh, would like to attend these events. Mm -hmm. So it gives them an opportunity to express themselves, to communicate, connect with others, and to establish networks with faculty and experts. Mm -hmm. I know I have been to ARCRA um, I've just, usually when there's the presentation fair, I just walk around and skim people's research. I mean, I don't do research for my job, so it is amazing to see um, undergraduate students and the work that they help um, put into incredible research. Um, not only in, you know, your office in your area of doing research for Alzheimer's disease, but other areas as well is really incredible. And it is a great learning opportunity for students to 
um, put into words what they've achieved and it's a great resume builder and, and the list goes on and on. Indeed. And that actually does uh, lead into my next and my last question for you since I've got you here today. Um, is what are the um, benefits? You know, we've talked about that there's, you know, affordability options, it's flexible, it'll boost um, your student's uh, college experience and research experience, um, but what are some of those other benefits to participating in a research or creative opportunity? One of the benefits is to help build their confidence. A lot of times students uh, seek out mentorship, but they don't know how, and once they're able to do that, their confidence builds in themselves to carry out work or uh, an assignment that they have an interest in. Um, with that connection established, they are more comfortable talking to peers as well as faculty. And you'll see this nice progression of development with their communication skills. It's not just these symposia or conferences that they go to, it's also just speaking with people on a regular basis. It is basically amongst friends and and supervisors and faculty. It's almost like a work environment, so to speak, but not so formal. And they become much more comfortable as well as being able to enhance their resume. Uh, oftentimes we forget about doing those other things beyond the classroom. So doing research or a creative activity that uh, allows them to add to their resume, enhances it much more, for example, if they're trying to get admission to professional training programs, such as medical school, graduate school, any other type of training program that will uh, be a pathway for a career that they end up in. Um, whether it be that for those paths or even for just being able to demonstrate they have skills that can be useful in the community or any other environment that they so wish to have uh, partake in. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking back on my undergraduate uh, career, these are things that I was not aware of as a student, and so that's why we are putting on a, a video like this for you today so you can speak to your student about these opportunities so they can, like you said, move out of their comfort zone, um, grow as, as a young adult, and grow in their profession and future profession as well. Um, are there any parting words that you would like to give, any piece of advice, or, um, or you know, just anything that we haven't covered or reiterate for the people watching? Indeed. Uh there are questions, please contact me directly. I'm always open to questions to help uh, facilitate and steer students to uh, mentorship opportunities. Uh, we are working on ways to help uh, build the base of students that have these opportunities. Uh, if students have reservations about contacting people directly, that's where I come into play. I help facilitate, I help to moderate your activities in a way that helps uh, build confidence in you. And for parents that are uh, concerned about or apprehensive about these activities, fear not, we're friendly here. We're trying <laughs> to help you out as best as possible with your uh, children to uh, be the best that they can be by enhancing their uh, experiences, their skills, and building their resumes for their future. Amazing. So thank you so much, Dr. Tran, for joining me today. Um, and like he mentioned, that you can contact him. Um, their website is rede.ecu.edu slash undergraduate. So all the information that we've covered today is there as well as your contact information. So if you do have any questions, you can reach out to him there. Um, and so we hope your student is excited about an opportunity like this. I hope you speak to your student about these opportunities. Um, and we hope that you have a great rest of your day.